We got to get one. Like I said, it's kind of like hitting the jackpot over at the casino. Let's see who's going to get it here right now. We are set. Here it is. The dash for cash is ready. Lap one of ten is about ready to take off. There we go. Good start by everybody. And again, Boyna jumps off to an early lead. Jason Boyna out of Winnipeg. He'll be the early favorite. But Boyna right now, look at there. He's not going to hold it for long. He's down the back straightaway. I can't tell this Kobo on the outside as they go into turn three. Boy, you can't take any prisoners this one. You can't be a nice guy. You just got to drive the uh, the skis right off these sleds as they come to the flag in lap one. Boyd has got it. No, he doesn't. The 88 moving up out there. Uh, Jeff Schmidt. Boy, how about this? Schmidt has stuck in and taken the early lead for lap one. Now, can he hang on? Boy, Jeff Schmidt looking awfully good down that back straightaway. Boyd are running second. <laughs> You gotta survive, right guys? Uh, you can see they're even tuning them as they go. I need some horsepower. Schmidt comes off turn four in the lead. Boyda stays behind him. There comes Kobo in the 121. The 172 out there, PJ Duchesne. Running in the number four spot, two down. Eight laps to go. Schmidt with the lead. Here comes the Canadian. Boyda is closing in a hurry. In turn three, as they come off a of turn four, Boyd is starting to tighten the noose a little bit. A long time to go, three down, seven to go. And again, those two break away a little bit. Kobo says, hey. They'll come by, lap four is gonna wrap up here now. Like I said, the $500 still hanging out there. And so far, it looks like it's gonna go into Jeff Schmidt's pocket early on. But I'll tell you what, don't tell Boyd of that. Here he comes again. Jason Boyda stays right there. He has not lost hardly a sled leg down. Just trying to, a new line there as they come by, and I think we go in the left line. Okay, halfway, there it is, yep, there comes the flags. Halfway home right now, five down, and the lead is shrinking, everybody. And boy, the brake lights come on going into turn one. And Boyda now closes the gap on the backside of Schmidt. Ken Schmidt, hang on for five more laps. Now remember, Boyda's been out and raced a ton of races today. You wonder how tired he's going to be at the end of this thing, but I imagine you dangle that $500 cash in front of him. And now here he is. He's right on the backside as he closes in again as they come by with four to go. Boyda hanging on. Now, will lap traffic play into this? They will get up there. I don't know if they're going to catch them lap sleds. So we'll watch that at the end of this thing also. Everybody else can only sit back as those two stretch it out. It's a two, two sled shootout. Look at this, Boyd is right there. Now he ducks underneath him. He's gonna try him on the low side off a of four. But again, as they come with three to go, hanging on a boy until you can see the machine just chattering as they go into turn one. Schmidt again sitting out there. Jeff Schmidt on that 88 down the back straightaway. And again, here comes the Yamaha, the John Deere is up on lap traffic, he goes around the outside of them as they come off a of turn four, let's see who's going to lead at the flag here right now, the John Deere hangs on the Yamaha, Yamaha comes by with two to go I believe, they'll get a white flag next time by. And boy, Jeff Schmidt, I'll tell you what, says this is going to be a real celebration tonight. And he's got a little bit of breathing room. He goes into turn three on the outside of another lap machine. Boyda closes up again. Look at Boyda come, he to roll in on him. Again, Jason Boyda gets ready. Here we go. The white flag's going to come out here right now. Here they come to the flag. Boy, one slip up now. You don't change a thing. As you can see, Boyda closes in, just gets right up there. But again, Schmidt, that John Deere's looking good. And right now that long green machine's gonna have a bunch of green cash in his pocket because he's opened up enough breathing room unless he spills her off a of turn four. And here he comes, the $500 jackpot winner coming to you here right now is gonna be Jeff Schmidt on the John Deere takes it home. How about that? Boyda finishing second. Wow, good run. All the tech people, a whole bunch of people that have made this. And there they come. I'll tell you that John Deere is going to take home the big one today as he wins it, the dash for cash. And more. Well, I tried to pass him every lap, and it didn't work. <laughs> he had more speed out of the corner than I did, and uh, it was a good race. I had a lot of fun. Ten laps went by like it was fine. It was well, I got a good hole shot, and I knew that if I got a good 
pole shot, if I really pushed her and hung on hard, I knew I could stay ahead of them because my sled was as fast as everybody else in there. But that track got so rough by the end of the day here, it was like running a motocross track. And it was literally the, you know, it's the survival of the race is what it was basically. And, but boy, I tell you what, I started counting the laps now and then when they hit lap seven, and I knew there was only three more, that's when the adrenaline starts hitting in, you know. And, it was really hang on for dear life, and I managed to uh, just win by about a sled length, I guess, is about what it was. It was close, but it was fun. It definitely uh, finished our season off. This is going to be our last race of the year, and this capped it all. So, it, well, actually, my name is Jeff Schmidt. Uh, I've been racing sleds uh, Eagle River and all over for over 30 years, well over 30 years. And I actually live only 30 miles from here, so this is the closest race. and. Uh, we finished the season off real nice with three uh, first and one second out of the four classes we ran. So we had a real good weekend.